so this morning we're going to talk about uh, Gladiator and JL Rubicon locker issues. So one of the really common problems with the JL Gladiator so far with the new uh, axles is a lot of people are having troubles with the dash. Uh, you get the little service locker light in the dash and what it's basically telling you is that the locker is locked when it isn't. And so what happens is your computer is telling the car that you have a problem when you really don't. So we've diagnosed quite a few of these already at the shop where we found out that even though the dash thinks the locker is locking, the actual locker is not locking. So what we have here this morning to look at is we have, this is my, uh, this is out of my Gladiator with about 7,000 miles on it. And this is the um, locker actuator is this plug here. And this plug here is the uh, uh, sender that tells the dash when the Jeep is locked. So we believe that the problem is this little sensor right here. So Jeep's uh, solution currently for this, if you're under warranty, is they swap out your entire rear end, you get a brand new rear end, brand new locker and everything like that. Now for me, that's not a good option because I already have uh, modifications done to mine. I have different brackets on it and things like that. So for me, I don't wanna have it swapped out because then that's a lot of work for me. Now I am currently not having issues, however I was having different issues with my locker and so what I chose to do uh, with my locker in order to actuate it is uh, Mopar sells this uh, wiring harness that has uh, the same plug as your JL and your Gladiator and basically it's a, it's a two wire plug with a 20 foot wiring harness and uh, we can put the part number in the description and basically what I did is I took this plug I disconnected the factory locker, I added this plug in, and I ran that straight to my uh, S-Pod Bantam X. So essentially what I've done on my Gladiator is I have bypassed this sensor right here, and I am only using these two wires which activate the locker. Now I have several customers with this issue, and I'm gonna do the same fix to their Jeeps when they come in for repair, and we're gonna get the harness, we're gonna redo it. Now, the big issue is this sensor telling the dash whether or not the rear end's locked. So, if we take this guy apart, one of the things that I notice really fast when we get this apart is this magnetic, uh, this sensor is magnetic, and, and if you see right here, it's uh, completely covered in uh, fuzz and oil. And because it's magnet, these are all the little fragments that go around in your gear oil. And these, these fragments right here could be causing an issue with the sensor. And since nobody's actually fixing the sensor, we, we're not actually 100% sure if, if that's the cause or not of why, why the sensor is going bad. But basically, you've just got this ring and it's moving up and down inside the sensor. Now, it could just be that this sensor is a bad design. I, I don't know. These, these differentials are still pretty early in their uh, generation, so it's hard to say if this is the problem, but I believe it to be this little piece here. So by bypassing this arrangement and going straight to your switches or straight to your S-Pod or however you want to do it, I think is a much better way to go. Uh, a couple advantages of that also, um, now I'm able to lock my front differential uh, independently of my rear, which I do quite a bit. I actually use the front more than I use the rear, especially in the wintertime in the snow. Uh, a lot of times you don't want the rear lock because it'll cause the vehicle not to handle properly in the ice and the snow, so I like the front locked. It kind of gives the illusion of a front wheel drive car and it works better in the snow. So by me fixing that, I am uh, a thousand percent happier with my personal Gladiator having my uh, lockers controlled by my S-Pod and we'll do a video soon in the future to show you how I did that. But basically I, I think that getting rid of that sensor by just using the actuator itself is a, is a good way to fix the dash. Now, one of the things that you have to do when you bypass this and use this plug and either go to your auxiliary switches or your S-Pod is you need a Taser Mini to tell the car or the Jeep that the lockers are no longer there. So once you tell the car, the Jeep, that the lockers are no longer there, this sensor becomes irrelevant and the dash no longer looks for that. So for me, this was a no-brainer. It fixes a lot of future issues I may have had and uh, it's a pretty simple fix for uh, taking care of this issue. Mm.